Hey, JJ, thanks for coming by. I appreciate it. I know you're pretty busy uh, out in the Bayview. But I want to just reflect on the great screening last night at Operation Genesis. Uh, could you tell me a little bit about Operation Genesis? Yeah, so Operation Genesis um, was a program that I created. Uh, you know, I work with the kids in the community. Sure. And um, I have a passion for kids. I feel like it's my duty to, to, to actually help them to get to where they want to go in life. And um, working with them, I've just seen such a disconnect uh, with them in their actual uh, heritage, their culture, and where they came from. So. Um, I wanted to connect them to it. Okay. So uh, I came up with this program, uh, Genesis, to uh, send them to Africa so they can learn about their culture, um, what it was like prior to uh, coming to America, and what it took, what took place in order for them to even be here today and have the opportunity that they have. So that was the intent of the program, right? The initial intent, just, mm -hmm. just getting them back to the beginning. What, what was learned? You're going on your third year of the trip right now, right. in 2016. What, what has been learned over the last two years on going on the trip? Um, it's a lot been learned. Okay. Uh, one of the things that the, the kids, as well as all the chaperones, including myself, was the things that we take for granted here in the States. Um, for the kids, the education being the most important. See, over there, it's have to pay uh, for their education. If you don't have any money, you can't get educated. And then the type of education, uh, education that they get is uh, it's not even equivalent to maybe the, the worst school in San Francisco. Okay. Um, and, you know, just the, the paper. You know, they write on every crevice of the paper and they sharpen pencils to be about this big and keep writing. Oh, and, see. You know, okay. we break them and throw them out, you know, and um, things like that, and then um, for us, and you know, just you know, I never, I never thought I'd be so thankful for for sidewalks and, 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 and uh, sure, yeah, traffic signals <laughs> and you know things like that. Um, things we take for granted, right? right absolutely, yeah. absolutely. You know, running water, um, uh, functioning toilets, uh, cable, electronics. You know, yeah. all of these things we take for granted, um, and it it actually. It was made aware, you know, going out there and experiencing what we did out there. The last question for you, JJ. I know you got to get back out on the streets, but you you knew the kids before and after, right? So, <coughs> tell me what you saw. What are the differences that was apparent to you for the kids before and both after? Uh, when we got back, the the, the drive um, that the kids had. Uh, each group, you know, we went out there and there were some kids on the fence about, you know, graduating and their education and it was just like, it is what it is, they didn't really care about it. And um, every single last one, one of them came back and like, man, I gotta get, you know, I gotta, I gotta graduate at least, you know, I gotta get this education. Um, the first trip, it was, we took seven and out of the seven, uh, three of them were on the on the cusp of one of them dropped out of school. Um, mm -hmm. One of them late every day, and when I'm saying late, you gotta be there at eight. You getting there at ten o'clock. Okay. Uh, one of the young ladies wasn't gonna graduate. She didn't go to school half the time, and you know, coming back, they all one of the the one that dropped out actually enrolled herself back in school. Um, nice. The the, the 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 guy that was. Uh, always late, is always on time, and his goal is just to get his high school diploma. That's his whole focus now. And then the other young lady that wasn't going to graduate, she went to her counselor, they came up with a plan, you know, they handed her this big uh, <laughs> stack. Yes. You want to graduate? Yeah, this is what this you got to do. Gotta do. Yeah. And uh, she did it and graduated. Nice. And, and, and going to the graduation, I was just like, wow. You yes. know. Um, Miracles never cease. Right. right. Yeah. So if she never been on a trip, she probably wouldn't graduate, you know. So it was it was it was real good. It was real good. So you know, I know I said that was the last question, but if you had to just sort of throw out some words of encouragement, words of encouragement for the youth that are out there, and they're going to see the Operation Genesis video right after this. But what sort of words of encouragement can you 
Man, just really just just be thankful for what you have. Be grateful. Um, and just uh, for the community in general, you know, it's, it's such a disconnect. You know, you got people living in maybe Double Rock, and then you got guys in Petrel Hill or, or Oakdale or West Point, and, and nobody gets along. And, and for what? You know, I, I asked the question, well, why? Uh, asking somebody from Harvard, well, why you don't why you don't hang with him? Because he live on Oakdale. I was like, and? <laughs> like, okay. Yeah. Well, we just don't get out with Oakdale. I was like, why? That's just what it is. I'm like, huh? This don't make sense. They don't even know. But it, they they they've accepted this 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 mentality. And I'm like, man, I gotta, you know, I gotta do whatever I gotta do right. to make it change. And through this, you know, the last trip, you know, we had different kids from different uh neighborhoods. Um, and it was a disconnect prior to, you know, going to the trip, but when we got back, everybody's getting along. Nice. And so, you know, we get the kids to get along and get the parents involved. I think we can really, you know, over the years, we can literally change that mentality. Yes. And everybody getting along and, and, and let's, let's get these kids to, uh, where they want to, where they want to go successfully. JJ, thanks for your time today. I appreciate it. All right. It. So look, do me a favor, just invite five friends over. Um, and watch the video and if you're inspired by the video have your five friends share with five other friends Because this video is really game-changing. I think we can change a lot of things the perception um, that goes on so um, Support us share the video. Hope you enjoy it So uh, I want you guys to check out the video click the link I don't know if it's at the top or the bottom or to the left or the right but click the link and uh, watch the video It's about 15 20 minutes and um, let us know what you think. And ask a friend to watch it with you and, and share it if you could.